As we stay inside our homes, I am reminded of a few lines from a poem. It would be an exotic moment without rice, without angels. We would all be together in sudden strangeness. I express my respectful wishes to Honorable Chairman Sir, Secretary Ma'am, esteemed Municipal and revered teachers along with wishing my dear friends. This is D.P. Samuel from Grade 7 would like to start this wonderful day with a speech on the topic COVID-19. What is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. CO stands for Corona, VI stands for Virus and D stands for Disease. The WHO termed the illness caused by SARS coronavirus 2 as COVID-19 derived from the coronavirus disease 2019. Coronavirus or large enveloped positive stranded RNA virus with a crown like appearance under an electron microscope. Corona is the Latin term for crown. It is due to the presence of spike glycoprotein on the envelope. Global pandemic. It was first identified amid an outbreak of respiratory illness cases in Wuhan city, Hubei province, China. It was initially reported to the WHO on December 31, 2019. On January 30, 2020, WHO declared COVID-19 outbreak a global health emergency. On March 11, 2020, WHO declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. Structure of coronavirus. All viruses carry some kind of genetic material, DNA or RNA. COVID-19's genetic material is RNA encased by a protective cell called capsid. This is all surrounded by an envelope made of lipids which are essential fats and proteins. Spike protein protrudes out of the virus. The RNA has all instructions for how the virus needs to replicate if it had the proper machinery but it lacks to replicate so it has to infect a cell. Once the virus enters your body, it looks for the cell that has the right receptor. Specific spike protein binds to a specific type of receptor called ACE2 which stands for angiotensin converting enzyme 2. When the virus binds to a receptor on a cell, it is then able to enter and release its RNA into the cell. The cell has its own replication machinery like a ribosome for making its own RNA into protein. But now, the virus needs to hijack the cell's ribosomes and turn its own RNA into protein that makes up the components necessary for a new virus. Essentially, it turns the cell into a virus making machine and in this process destroys the cell. Once it makes a ton of virus, it breaks out of the cell, destroying the cell and all new virus will move on to the other cell to repeat the same process. So, how does infection lead to the common symptoms of difficulty in breathing? ACE2 is found especially in the cell that lies the upper respiratory tract called the goblet cells and ciliated cells. These cells are friendline defenders. Goblet cells produce mucus which traps bacteria and pathogens. Ciliated cells then sweep the debris and mucus out, cleaning away the unwanted particles. When the virus attacks the goblet and ciliated cells, this causes inflammation and irritation in the airways which will stimulate dry cough. If you are healthy, changes of your immune system will be able to eventually fight off the infection here before it is able to spread down the lower respiratory tract. But if your immune system can't stop it in the upper respiratory tract, the virus will travel down to invade the lungs and specifically to alveoli. Alveoli are small acids in the lungs where gases exchange between oxygen and carbon dioxide occur. The virus attacks the cell in the alveoli and when the body detects the virus, it signals an immune response that go into overdrive. Immune cells are then sent to alveoli which cause them to swell and fill with fluid. The overactive immune response can damage more alveolar cells causing more cells to die and slow off filling the lungs with more debris and fluids. This interrupts the proper transfer of oxygen into bloodstream and causes alveoli to eventually collapse. This is why difficulty in breathing is one of the symptoms of COVID-19 infection. Spread of coronavirus. Data has shown that it spreads mainly from person to person among those in close contact within 2 meters. The virus spreads by respiratory droplets released when someone with a virus coughs, sneeze or talks. This virus can be inhaled or land in the mouth, nose or eyes of a person nearby can also spread if a person touches a surface or an object with the virus on it 
and then touches his or her eyes, nose or mouth. In some situation, the virus can spread by a person being exposed to small droplets or aerosols that can stay in the air for several minutes or hours. Types of Coronavirus The subfamily of the coronavirus of the coronavirus family classifies into four genera of coronaviruses. Alpha coronavirus, beta coronavirus, delta coronavirus and gamma coronavirus. The SARS coronavirus 2 belongs to the beta coronavirus category. It has round or elliptic and active pleomorphic form and a diameter of approximately 60 to 140 nanometer. It is sensitive to ultraviolet rays and heat. These viruses can be effectively inactivated by lipid solvents including ether, ethanol chlorine containing disinfectant. Symptoms of Coronavirus The virus can cause a range of symptoms ranging from mild illness to pneumonia. Symptoms of this disease are fever, cough, sore throat, loss of smell, body ache, fatigue, vomiting and diarrhea. In severe cases, difficulty in breathing and death can occur. Precautions to avoid coronavirus Although there is no vaccine to prevent coronavirus disease 2019, WHO and CDC recommended some precautions for avoiding exposure to the virus that caused COVID-19. Avoid close contact with anyone who is sick or has symptoms. Avoid touching eyes, nose or mouth. Avoid sharing dishes, towels and other household items if you are sick. Avoid public transportation, taxes and ride sharing if you are sick. Stay home from work, school and public areas if you are sick. Let's hope the work that is being carried out by our medical warriors bring light at the end of this very dark tunnel. At the end, I urge everyone to take appropriate precautions in the spirit and in action and pray for a speedy end to this global pestilence. Thank you.